think was it? No, I think you bought it from the old lady. All right. Anyways, let's go and see. Feeling this should have been downstairs. No worry, we'll get it. We'll get it, I swear. There it is. Sir, I have food. Can I help you? Can it send me? Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? Uh, I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for food. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him. And yourself. Thank you. I think that's everyone. All like right. Now. Oh, that's right. I do gotta go turn his quest in. Get my reward. All right. Everyone's fed. Ah, you're back. All done. Wonderful. Here. Your the hideaway is quite something. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. Oh, maybe. We'll see. Alright, got a little bit of XP, experience, and gill. Speaking of skills, see, we need a thousand. Okay, so we could almost get that, but I definitely do want to unlock that at some point. Actually, I do need to... Okay. Well, we, we got our options. Anyways. That's right. This guy over here needs some help. Possibly with... His apples, maybe? I don't know. You! Newcomer! What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil. And I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please! I beg of you. Okay. All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lost, not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps. But the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. Okay, dang, I get it, you're worried. Alright, so... This will be located over here. I'm so guessing uh, that might be her. Oh, wow, yeah. Spiders? Get your ass out of here. You know what to do, boy. 
the fuck? There's more of you? Keep your distance, boy. Finish this off quickly. Get him, boy. That's enough. You know what to do, boy. Oh, so that you. Enemy slain. I'm guessing you're the person I'm looking for. It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil is not going to collect itself. Like, listen, you don't understand. This is a really good freaking soil, all right? Just exactly you gotta what have this shit. Need. What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, Hell yeah. rich, fragrant. Dark, rich, fragrant. Dark, rich and fragrant. Yeah. Right. Good shit. Well... You should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Like, yeah, bullshit. Him? Look for me? So Alright, well, grab There's this. Enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? Only one way to find out. All right, folks, we're gathering soil. One of the most exciting side missions ever. See, look at that. They learned from Final Fantasy XIV and fixed all the grapes. All right, so... Now that we're good to go with this... safe and sound. Oh, yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. <laughs> the soil. See, he only gave a shit about the soil. Like, listen, I don't give a fuck about her. Yes. Here. Like that. It's like, wait, she's standing right there. Like, are, are, you, are you not relieved? He's like, no, what the fuck? Dude, where's the soil? When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. But with this... With this, my research Listen, the soil is really my end game, and so I mean, cool. I guess she's still alive. Sure. Wait, so you were never worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's that's all right. It's just how he is, and if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay, although you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. When she gives you a bag of soil, like, oh, cool, thanks. I wish I could offer you some fruit, too. But you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still. We'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. We did it. So, we are good to go now. Let the side quests are out of the way. I'm gonna attempt to do all the side quests. We'll see. Cause yeah, once it gets towards the end game is when the yeah, side quests get a little crazy. Especially like the very last portion. What do you want? I don't know. To say farewell. We're leaving. 
Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. Uh, oh, okay. This is Gaia Blade. Yeah, and I could probably reforge that. Which will make it even more durable. But we don't got any items over here. So just a blade. Off you go then. I should probably say thank you to Gav too. Before that, let me go ahead and strengthen the sword. I see I'm busy here. What's that for, India? We got our Gaia blade plus one. Right. Then we'll go ahead and make a plus two. A total 160 you, damage. Fuck yeah! All right. Mine's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. Well, yeah, Master just a, just a heads up. It's a, it's First a little rough. Trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No <laughs> need to make such a fuss. He's like, oh shit, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really I'm really awkward for praise, all right? You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. Like, oh, it's okay. I Don't will. cry. Ooh, very nice. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. All right, then off we go back to Rosaria. Area. It's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial. Well, I think it's gonna be like, Mommy, look, I'm still alive. I know I'm not the favorite, but I mean, hey. The only way out was on a mission. I see. I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. Well, shall we go, milady? Thanks to you. Imperial province of Rosaria. We should press on. All right, now we got our trio going. Homecoming. In at the top of the hill must be Martha. Sorry, don't mean to cut you off, Clive. But I'm just gonna. Oh, we cannot Best. save. All right, never mind. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, 
I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my oh, there you are. Like, Where'd she go? All right, now. I like that. It's like, listen, if anybody asks, I'm just, uh, I'm just here to protect you. All right. Hey, boys. Scorpions. fun anyways they never finished building the bridge then after what happened at Phoenix Gate it didn't seem the highest priority Oi, stop. yes here you couldn't give me an hand could you Bloody bearer. Just when I thought my luck had changed. Excuse me, I mean I can keep going. I don't have to help you. Better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. Yes, I'm not These fucking illiterate. What the fuck, dude? Cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And it was really late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest. But I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. It's like, all right, might as well. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. Fucking excuse me? First of all, how fucking dare you? Alright, well, whatever. It's mostly in the same direction anyways. Oh, it's a bug. Oh, oh, oh. Distracted. Oh, never mind. More things to fight. Come here. All right, fine. Run away. I don't care. Whatever. Here we are. Oh, look at that. Right before the bridge. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Stable master, I was asked to deliver this to you. This guy's gonna be like, first of all, how dare you fucking what speak to me? Bearers doing bringing it to me though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart surrounded by wild chocobos. Huh. Sounds about right. I'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizal greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. All right, we did it. Got a 
little bit of XP off of that. And some crafting material. You barely have to stay. All right. I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's Maybe, possibly. Out, Yeah, it's really funny. Some of the side quests in this game, it's like you go to help these people, but they're absolute dicks because you have the freaking mark on your face and everything. And it's like, wait, why the fuck am I helping you guys? Like, you guys are lucky I'm getting XP out of this, or else I'll be pissed. Good, honest work building All right, hi. My name's Clive. Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Like, oh, never mind. Why did you just say that in the first place? Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Like, well then. Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be. If the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make guess. sure he's safe. Because otherwise, we won't be able to get across that bridge. bridge repaired. Your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, Bernard they sent you. And that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. Alright, well, I guess we'll go ahead and find him. To the marshes then. Let's to find the marshes. Him. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Right, she'll twerkle some love. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Unfortunately, yeah, there's just the one achievement. It'd be... If, we kind of, I gotta go look it up, but it'd be funny if they had like a... an achievement or a trophy that was like, Hey, you pet twerkle a hundred times. Here's the silver trophy. I'm like, fuck yeah. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. Here. Oh, I'm guessing that might be our guy. It came from under the bridge. Like, hold on, I'm coming. It's got a lot of stairs. All right, all right, I'm on my way. Don't you worry. I'm almost there. Goddamn, so big ass freaking scorpions. Oh, 
How about that? Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. I mean, Clive helped Not too. You're Bernard the carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. Well, yes. I'm Everybody's talking artist. about you. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Well, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. First, I was wondering, is like, you guys aren't going to make me walk all the way back now, are you? Uh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. But yeah, it's funny. For whatever reason, the whole thing where it kind of has like that little hiccup when recording. The only consistent thing I notice is both times. It's always done it about 28 minutes in. But then once I start the... I'll pretty much just restart my recording thing as a second video. And the Nevada video, nothing. I could record for over an hour and it's like, yeah, nothing's wrong. I don't exactly know what's causing it, but I was like, all right. But let's go ahead and turn this into Martha. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They had nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. He can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. Do we, do we get a bed? Or we'll we have to sleep light. on the floor? The last place I was like, oh yeah, you can stay here. You have to sleep on the floor though. So hopefully, hopefully we get a bed. Dang, I almost got enough to buy the ultimate attack. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I'll have a milk. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Well, if you haven't noticed, uh, everybody is kind of like dicks towards them. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? to the legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late, so the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Ah, Thea! Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. 
A boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. Like, I'm sorry, Gave what? The constables then. Just left it at the garrison. I let them deal with it. Like, you racist motherfuckers. Been wanting it gone since I was like, oh, no, it's not even necessarily racist. It's like, all dealt with now. So no harm done, wow, you got her fucked. Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? No. You're teaching it to the kids, but too. You'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Like, wait, wait. I'm you found out well, your well. fucking kid is a bear. And you're like, oh, well, hell no. Nah, fuck this shit. Back in Archduke Owen's day, but they were still human beings. I understand being prejudiced, but god damn it, your own kid. Even like no, the friggin' small kids is so like, far. it's not my brother, right? I was like, oh, thank God. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. Why? I've already seen enough dark shit, okay? I murdered my brother. Leave me alone. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. It was good, honest work. Like that, Martha's over there is like, Hey, Clive, I want to see some dark shit. Go over here. He's like, uh, I, I'd actually rather not. Pretty sure. Let me just double check, see if what you got. You after? See if you got anything nice for me. Doesn't look like anything I specifically need. I'm stocked up on okay, everything. Okay. All right. You say fresh cuts? I'm sorry. Are you just wanting me to pay you to cut me? Oh, you need me fresh cuts of meat. Okay, that that makes more sense. I'm sorry. That was my misunderstanding. I knew that children were tested. That a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know, but for a child to be blamed. I know you're like, he's like, ew, let me, uh, that thing's a bear? Let me just go ahead and drop this off over here, because, ew, fuck that. I'm not raising that. Where do, where do these creatures that are just, you know, flying around the wild come from? How fucking dare they hang out around here? It's funny, like, like a lot of the wild chocobos, you can technically fight them, but also if you just kind of leave them alone, they won't really do much to you. And also, every once in a while, you find this they call it a bluebird, but it's like a weird freaking green and blue chocobo. Be the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. Get him, boy! It's over. Sick of Toggle. There's also someone fighting here. 
there you are. I was like, okay, hear the battle music. Where's the enemy, though? All right. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation. From Martha. <sighs> I see. Then please, follow me. Oh man, why? I... I don't want to die. Basically, please you get to find out what happens to a lot of these bears. For the pain. I'll beg you. The light. If I... I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can for the time they have left. Yeah, as you can see, they kind of start turning the stone a little bit. The curse has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is, is nothing even more fucked up. or I can do to change that. It's like, oh, but we can at least you pretty much used up all usefulness? All right, yeah, we don't need you no more. more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. Yeah, see, they essentially just slowly start corroding with the stone and then kind of just die like that. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Now their final moments may be moments of peace. I was over here I was like, damn, Arthur wasn't lying. This shit is dark. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that two more have succumbed. Like, all right. We should get back to Martha's rest. Sue me. Oh yeah, I can just teleport over here. Alright, I seen the dark shit you're talking about. You're right. Ah, you're back. 
Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. Alright, as long as you don't show them anything else crazy, alright? So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content... It was such a weird thing to sit there and be like... Prejudiced against somebody. It's like, what? You can use magic like wind and fire? It's like, oh, fuck you. You're you're creepy. We're going to cast you out of society. I'm like, huh, weird. Like, you think that wouldn't be something frowned upon. They're my property. At least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. Oh, hell yeah. You're on to Eastpool now. You got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Kind of funny, too, in this world, too, because it's like, okay, so if you use a crystal for magic, you're fine. But if you can produce your own magic, then fuck you, get out of here. Wear this, and they'll know you for one of us. Oh, boy, we got another seal. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Everybody in Rosalia is going like, holy shit. They're, they're actually alive? It was, it's like they just got killed like freaking 15 years ago. So yeah, I can understand why they're going like, holy fuck, they're alive. Sid. Oh, oh shit, he has it on his arm too. Where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. But even even Sid, being as strong as he is, yeah, my decoration for you know, he even still has that curse kind of creeping up on his arm the more he uses his skill. Probably why he's like, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and use a crystal for lighting these. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid. Look, Sid, what the hell, man? I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. I wanted to save her. No, oh, he's talking about Benedicta. You know, the one that we kind of oh, killed in that previous could. episode. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You might.
not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Well, thank you, sir. I needed that. You may yet escape your fate. My fate. Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. But I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. So, uh, then. All right, see you later, Sid. Definitely know they'll be seeing each other again. Folks, I do believe this is where we're going to be leaving off. I do hope you enjoyed. If you are new here, uh, maybe thinking about subscribing. Or if you did like this video, maybe hit that like button too. As always, uh, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, we do stuff like Let's Plays like you see here. Unboxing the anime figures. Sometimes we do a little bit of model building between Gundam, Kamen Rider, and all that stuff. So, that sounds like stuff you're interested in. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. As always, I thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later.